Hey guys, what is up? TJ BHC Lee P here. And this is kind of a different video. So I try, and I should have brought it with me, but I didn't. I added some art gilting or gilding, however you say it, to the side of my Bible, which what does that mean? So this gold thing is the gilting of the Bible. This is my mom's MEV. Um, so it's like an MEV. I, it's not even a study Bible. It's just a bigger Bible. There are some references, but very few. It's mainly for large print. And so I did uh, my CSB Everyday Study Bible. So you'll see it when we do the numbers video here in the next couple days because I've just put that off and my mom is in town and we're doing some fun stuff. So she saw it, um, her and some other people from the church, and they wanted to have it done to their Bibles. And I was excited to do it. So today we are literally going to be at the tabletop. So I'm not back in my studio. Also, I have an air mattress in my office for my mom, which is awesome. So we got our gloves. And you don't have to use gloves. Really, you can do this with whatever. I like to use gloves just because I get my finger stained enough because I use fountain pen ink, and so I don't want to do it. And then we have two archival inks. So this is what's weird about this. I did mine in a pink, and I'll show that when I when I do it. Um, I'm doing a top layer of purple and a bottom layer of this teal. So hopefully it'll turn out. Um, we're going to use cotton rounds, the Equate version, because Walmart is Walmart brand. And then some paper towels to block it off, which I saw recently. I used some paper. I think paper towels will probably look a little better. So we're going to do this together. I'm going to get all set up. I'll hit go. And you'll get to see the process. And then maybe even know how to do it by yourself. Okay, so here you go. You can see my desk. I got a cord that goes to my computer, my mouse pad. And you're like, well, you're doing a little mouse pad? Yeah, because it adds sweet lighting. So this is my own Bible. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the ribbon out. And we're going to tug it behind the Bible. Now, she wants Old Testament in the purple and um, New Testament in that teal color. So we're going to have to skip to where in this Bible they split off. There's Matthew. There's Zechariah. Sorry, it's her Bible. It's, you know, Bibles get worn in and get weird. Okay, so we're going to do it right here in this right here between the last page of Malachi and the New Testament cover, right? So right there. So we have that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, this paper towel and we're just gonna set it right about there. I'm gonna lay it flat. Honestly, we could probably go in just a little more with this paper towel. Actually, we could go all the way in. Sweet, that's perfect because that makes it easier to do the front and the, or the top and the bottom. So it'll be kind of halfway in there and then you're going to close it and you're gonna kind of, like I fold the cover open and do, and kind of spread them out a little bit and get in there. So let's get our gloves on. Get these bad boys on. Now these are one size fits most, so we'll, We'll see. Okay, so we got our paper towel. Now we're gonna take just a bunch of, like I open my cotton rounds like a savage. That's what my wife told me. So we're gonna take these, bring them out. So we're gonna take the ink. So purple's gonna be our top one, okay? So we're gonna kinda put the ink over here. It'll be out of sight, keep it over here. Why not? It's a black mouse pad, it'll be fine. So we're gonna take our purple ink. You're gonna take your round and you're going to use this like rough edge so there's like a cottony edge or side and there's a rough side then you're going to take it and you're just going to kind of swirl it swirl. okay then you're going to take it and you're just going to start going on those edges going on the edges now this is going to take time and i don't go if you'll notice i don't go the full length up and down. I just focus on this little section right here because that's, we're gonna get a nice deep color and it does, it takes time. So you're gonna go try to get a good coat here. Now you may hit some crumples. You might have to press down a little more. I mean, you're gonna have to play it by ear, right? Now I don't take, I know that some people like try to get that gold, or on my other Bible, there was silver. They try to get that off. For me, what I did is uh, 
I just left the silver because I thought it looked beautiful. And so it also adds like an extra variant, like almost, so art gilting on a Bible, although, or gilding, however you pronounce it, is uh, very interesting. I actually have a Bible on the way that we'll do a video on where it, uh, it's in my celebra celebratory Bible, which we'll talk about soon. But anyways, it goes from like gold to red or whatever. There's some really, that was weird. The shaking of the desk knocked something down, so I had to jump. So it didn't hit my head. Um, or there's some other ones that go to some pretty beautiful colors. So to me, when you have um, that little gold flake in there, almost adds that kind of feel to it. Almost that artistic um, vibe to the, to the edge. Circle, circle, circle. And we're back at it. Now you may have to go through a couple cotton rounds you can also use uh, makeup sponges if you so choose. Um, really, anything that you can apply ink. Um, now, I recommend archival ink. Um, you can get it at, I got this stuff at Michael's. The stuff I used on my first one, just the pink pad, um, I got from Hobby Lobby. So you can get them at both, but Hobby Lobby only had a couple colors left in stock, and so I had to run to Michael's this morning and grab some uh, some purple in that teal. So really beautiful colors. I have another person in the church that wants me to do their edges pink, and so I will do hers in pink. Hopefully, my mom doesn't get mad if this doesn't turn out. You know, because you never know. It's like any other project. You just you don't know. I mean, I think it's starting to look good. I don't know what you guys think. I think it's. I feel like the color is darker here than it is on camera. I like to look and do one more pass here. And this time we're going to go over everything because we've already gotten a pretty good coat. So if you've ever painted with me, you know that I'm not a big two coat fan. Um, I like to go over it thoroughly the first time and then uh, have it done. And so that's kind of what I, that's what I take into this. So we'll see as it dries, how it turns out and all that good stuff. But, and you might have some of that where you get up, you just got to be careful. I mean, it's a Bible, right? And so this is a very used Bible. Um, so you have what you have. So then I turn it. And now we're going to do the back. Now, with the back edges, you're going to have spaces in here. So I haven't yet quite figured out the best way to get back into here. Um, so we're, I mean, we're going to do our best. But um, mine had a little left, but it, it added some kind of interesting, like almost an interesting pattern to the, the get line. So just press and there you go. I mean, you're right back into it. It's a super, super simple process. Like, it's not hard. And again, if you guys didn't know this about me, I am not a crafty person by any stretch of the imagination. So if I can do it, you can definitely do it. So. Now, if you're like, man, it's the Word of God. How can you do that? Yeah, it's the Word of God. But listen, the Word of God is awesome. And if you've read it, you know that God is a God of fun who enjoys a good time. And so uh, I love to add this little beauty. Plus, it gives your Bible this like premium look at a very, very inexpensive cost. Now, one of the things that I have noticed is that these edges like don't, I mean, maybe there's a way to spread them a little more. We'll try that here. I felt like my top and bottom edges didn't take ink as well. Now that could have just been me, right? It could just be me and how I do it. Who knows? I mean, it also could be the lighting, right? So you could be getting this dark edge right here, but because of the way the light is, you just don't know. But go over here, it's really dark. I really like how over there is turning out. So I'm going to finish up this top side, and then we'll talk about what to do after you're done with the top. Okay, so we're about ready to flip it. So, and this is why I like gloves, because you're going to get ink on your hands. 
So if you look, I mean, again, like I said, you're going to keep some of that gold inlay. And so you have, this is what some would call a first coat, what I call the top coat. And here's what I mean. Now we are going to flip the Bible over and do it again. Now, what it looks like and what it'll end up looking like is it'll almost pop the pages of your Bible. So um, it's actually, it looks super cool. This actually looks really good with the brown. I, I haven't gotten to the teal yet. We're still in the purple. So what we do is, and this is going to be weird, right? Because we're splitting it in half. So if you, if you look, as we flip it over, you have half of it that we're working with that purple and the other half that is still gold. So I was thinking as I did this, how in the world am I going to do that? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take another paper towel. Because what we got to do is, right, so a page has two sides, right, top and bottom. I'm not saying that because I think you're stupid. I'm just pointing out kind of the obvious as I stall to put this in here. So we're going to leave this paper towel on. The reason that we're going to do that is because I need to press down on the page. And we can probably move it over to here. Yeah, we'll move it over to here because I need to press down on the page. Now, you will get some areas where ink comes up onto the white page, um, especially in used Bibles. And we'll show that here in a little bit. But I now I have an example of it in Malachi. Um, one thing, so then we're just going to do the same process. But if you look, you can see the little white specks like here where we didn't get it because we were doing the top side. So now we're going to get the bottom side to give that fullness of color. And you just do the same thing. So the warning that I will give you if you decide, oh, I kind of want to try that. Make sure you absolutely love the colors that you're going to go with. Here's why I say that. There is no going back. It, um, the archival ink is waterproof. It does not come off. So once it's on there, once you've made your choice, it is on there. So that just would be my encouragement to you is to make sure that you are, you know, you think about like you're not, and I would do this because I don't understand matching. I did black and like a deep pink, but if you have a blue colored Bible, like don't pick a color that's going to super clash with blue. I don't know what that would be. Um, this one's brown. I don't know if purple and brown clash, but I mean, so far so good. And so if you, I mean, you probably can't tell on the camera, but now you're getting, so where those gold empty lines were, you're getting more of, uh, the text or the text hopefully we're not getting the text now we might be because of again this bible is used so the spine the text block all that kind of stuff is a little more separated a little more loved um now the one that i used was used but it hasn't really been through any hard travel or anything like that not that my mom's has but i mean it's been it's now been all over it's down in, it's been down in florida you have humidity with pages however that works i'm not a book guy but so you're just going to kind of go over and you're going to try to get, and I don't personally, I don't think that you need as much on this side as you did on the other because you're filling in the gaps that were missed from that top area. So anyways, long, long story short to say all this, make sure that you like the colors that you're picking. So regardless of really what it looks like, I think my mom's going to be happy because she does love purple. I mean, she has purple in her hair, so she's going to, she's going to like the purple there's some ombre inks that you can get that are different brands. Again, I'm just not sold on, and that because it's only my second time doing a Bible, I didn't want to try a different ink and all the inks that I have seen that people use, they use the archival brand. So the one with this label. And you can look it up on, uh, on their web, like on Hobby Lobby's website. We'll get this off and then we'll, so again, right, we're doing this bottom side, catching, oh, I cut the corner a little bit, catching the areas that we didn't catch the first time. I will tell you that this process was way easier just doing one side. So like having the covers closed, this is a little more nerve wracking. And so you're going to have a little more like I creeped up on this corner of Malachi a little bit. You're just kind of going to have that being open the way that we are now. Hope, so what will happen is, so like with this one, on the second go through of the bottom, the cover is wide open. On the other side, in the New Testament, 
you'll have where it'll be open on the top side and the cover will be closed on the back. So I'm gonna finish this undercoat up and then show you what I'm doing for the, the rest of it. All right, so what I'm gonna warn you and tell you if you're a perfectionist like me is remember this, any project that you ever do that is creative in nature, and, and you know, we could debate if this is even creative, but if any project that you do that is like somewhat artsy, crafty, fun, whatever, okay, however you wanna word that, it's not gonna be perfect. So like I have some edges here that are still very gold where I don't up at the top, but in these ones I can't get to them because it's a very well-loved, worn-in Bible. But the purple looks really good. I don't know if you can hear. Let me flip it. I don't know if you can really tell. I'll show you the finished project after. Um, we did creep up on mica a little bit. The rest of it looks pretty clean. So now we are coming into Matthew. And see this one I'm talking about well love. So see how that page is curled? We're, we're not going to be able to get that with ink. So purple is gone. We're to the teal. And I can tell you right now. As we go into this process, this makes me nervous. It's because it's gonna look different. There's gonna be a hard break, which is actually kind of neat. It was a cool idea. Um, I can't remember who, somebody mentioned it. Somebody was like, oh, you can do this. I can't remember who that was, but it, I mean, it, it's gonna be interesting for sure. And it definitely fits my mama. So we're gonna try to press that page down. And here we go, we're into the blue, the teal, if you will. It's, it's teal, it's a pretty color. Actually, a really pretty color. Now, this shouldn't take as long, right? Because there's less in here. So we had the whole Old Testament where we have this, you know, smaller portion of the New Testament. And I almost like the, uh, the blue sticking out the New Testament, but I couldn't tell you why. I just think it's an interesting idea. I don't know, maybe because the blue is, like, beautiful and, like, reminds me of hope for some reason. There's a lot of hope in the New Testament. However, if you read the, and we're going to talk about this throughout our uh, Bible series um, as we go through the Bible this year, um, which I'll put a link to right here in this in, the, in one of these corners. But there's hope throughout all the Bible about how good God is and how gracious God is. So it's been really enjoyable. I am uh, reading through Deuteronomy right now. Like I said, I need to do that video on numbers. I just haven't. I haven't had a chance and I've made some other ones. Um, so pretty excited about those. Um, now here's the thing with this like guilty, guilted edging. You can really do this to any book that you want. So if you have a favorite devotional or favorite notebook, really, I mean, if you can get to the edge of the pages, you can add this colorful, you know, kind of, uh, to the edges so all right so i'm going to finish the blue up and i will show you the finished project all right so we have finished it up so some of my fears did come true first off it's difficult um this is not necessarily how i would recommend that you do it um i'm gonna get all my trash off to the side so I can, I mean, I'm gonna leave some of this stuff just down here, right? Like, if I take it back upstairs, I have my pinky upstairs and I'll bring it down. So, um, some of what I feared came true. So, um, the blue is done and it looks pretty good, right? So you have your old and the purple, your new and the blue, but the tops, the, the tops and bottoms for the blue, I, I guess on camera, it doesn't look as bad as I thought. Um, so, Let's uh, change the camera angle a little bit. Let's dive into what it looks like. Okay, so here is her Bible. Like I said, it's just a Holy Bible, big one. Modern English version, Passio, MEV, Holy Bible on the back. There's your ISBN number if you're really curious. Anyways, that's not what today's about. So this is how it turned out. So if you open to the Old Testament... See, you still, I mean, it actually turned out decent, especially on this blue side. It's not as bad as I thought now that I have it like this. So you have um, closed, you have your purple and your teal, and then opened, if, she, if say she's open to like right here where I put the marker back and 
First Chronicles, you're going to have dark purple, like a purplish on this side, darkish purple on this side. And live, it like face to face, it makes it pop. It just does. And then it's kind of cool to like have that little blue right here. So then if you go into the New Testament, um, you're going to have blue on this side and you're going to have majority purple right on the other side until you get back to the Conquered Ants. So turned out actually better than I anticipated. Now that I'm like, I have it and I'm looking. It also adds like this. Okay, well, I'm, I'm creeping up if you're reading it, right? I'm, oh, I'm creeping up on that blue. Oh, boom. I'm, I'm here almost. I'm here. I'm in, I'm in the blue. And then it, it's kind of cool. It's kind of neat. Interesting idea. If you know my mom, this really does fit her. So like I said, it is harder with the worn pages. So here's one of the areas that I'm talking about. So it's funny because now... You can almost go exactly to where that New Testament, Old Testament break is. So here you can see some blue creeped up. Up here, some purple creeped up on the corner, and I missed some spots. But that happens um, even in rebind gilting, it, it, gilding, whatever it's called, it happens. It doesn't cause it to stick or anything like that, but um, I think it looks... Pretty good, not bad for a second time, right? Looks like a weird sandwich, <laughs> but cool. I'm kind of excited. I hope she likes it. Um, there you go. So that's how to guilt your Bible or add guilting or gilding or whatever it's called. But that's how you add it. And you get some ink like this. Boom, some of that archival ink. These Paradise Teal and Petunia are the two colors that I used. Um, for this specific one, it's acid free, it's permanent ink, and it's waterproof. So be careful where you get it. And again, there is no going back. Once it's there, once you have it set, those are your colors. So she is now stuck with these colors. And you can tell when the light hits it, there's still gold in there. So thanks for watching, guys. As always, remember that Christ loves you, and so do I. If you like this kind of content, would you subscribe, like the video? Um, turn on the bell notification so you can get updates when we do stuff. We do, we're not going to do a ton of gilding videos, but I thought that this was interesting and be a fun little video. Mama, I hope you like it. Um, but remember, God loves you. So do I. Be blessed.